What's going on, Cancer? My name is Vince. Welcome to 7D Tarot. If you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. And if this message resonates, like, share, and subscribe. All right, let's dive right into your reading. See what we got going on. King of Pentacles, King of Cups. Look at that. Queen of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. Wow, absolutely amazing. You are definitely on the path to meet your significant other. I see your special person as someone who has mastered their finances finances, but who's also someone who's gone through their ups and downs. And right now, they know exactly what they want in life. And better yet, they know what they don't want. And they know exactly how to get it, right? So your special person that's entering your life, they have this energy to them where they seem to be a master of their finances. And with that King of Cups energy, they seem to be a strong empath as well, which means they're evolving on their spiritual journey, which is fantastic. That's exactly what you're looking for, right? You don't want just someone who's one dimensional. You want someone who kind of checks off all the boxes, and right now, the fact that you're watching this reading lets me know that you're connected to spirit. You know about your angels and guides. You understand vibrations and frequencies in the law of attraction, which is exactly what your special person feels as well. This is great. That means you guys are going to have stuff to talk about. Very important at the end of the day or at the beginning of the day that you guys have the same common interests, the same fundamentals. Life is so much more fun. Now, I also do see here that you're going to meet the special person at a time where you are focusing on your career or your work. So you could possibly meet them on a work setting. You can meet them at the conference. You can meet them at school. You can meet them at somewhere where you're improving your career. You're putting time and energy into it, or you could even just be putting a time and energy into yourself, but you could be focusing towards a goal of yours. And that's when the vibrations, the frequencies match up and you meet this person. Remember, and everything at the end of the day is a frequency. A frequency is nothing more than a signal, right? When you want to watch television, right? The reason that you're able to put on that channel is because you tap into the frequency of that channel. When you want to hear a song on the radio, you dial and turn the knob over to the frequency. When, if, when there were knobs, right? Now it's all digital. But again, the knob something that we can all relate to. Turn the knob to the frequency. Right now, energy, opportunities, money, love, health, everything, everything. Quantum physics, guys, not hocus pocus, the real stuff. Everything is a frequency. I know it sounds crazy. It only sounds crazy because we've been programmed and conditioned to think everything is solid matter. This could not be more wrong. You look at me right now, I look like flesh and bone, correct? You look at my beads right now, they look like solid matter. You look at my shirt, everything looks like it's solid matter. You can hold on to it, right? You actually can't, right? When you look at it under a microscope, they are all, everything, including my, my meat suit right here, it is all atomic particles vibrating. Everything is, is a vibration. Every single thing, it looks like solid matter. So with that being said, you have to understand that vibrations attract vibrations, right? It's just like feelings attract feelings. Right now, you spending more time time on yourself, you spending more time on your career, on your business, on your health, on your, on everything. This is how you're telling spirit, I am ready for more. You are attracting your soulmate to you. This is how it works. But if we are giving our attention awareness to something else, which is like worrying about what, you know, so-and-so is doing or, you know, getting caught up in the latest, whatever's going on in this world, then it is going to be pushing away our vibrations and spirits giving it a heads up to actually focus inwards right now. Now, three of swords, five of swords, four of swords. Again, look at this synchronicity. Three, four, five of swords and the wheel of fortune. What is spirit telling you right now? Something happened in the past, three of swords, where you're still holding on to that energy, right? This energy is actually causing you, uh, 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 what's it called? Brain fog and confusion, five of swords. And right now you gotta use the four swords, which is really reflecting inwards to be able to break out of this energy blockage. This is real stuff. Energy blockages are 100% real. When there is a energy block, the right thing turns into the wrong thing. There's no getting around it. It's like you're cursed, you're hexed, right? Bad luck, bad fortune. What does that really mean? Right now, if there was an energy blockage in your life, when you resist anything, you resist everything. And Spirit's giving you the heads up to change course right now and get in the driver's seat to be able to clear this energy blockage. So I'll give an example of how this works. Imagine if you, when there's an energy blockage, when you go to use the elevator, it's out of surface. And then you're like, what the heck? And then you go use the stairs and then all of a sudden your fob's not working or the key's not working. You're like, what the heck? You go to start your car, the car won't start. And you're like, what the heck? And again, not all this happens in one day, but it could, right? And then all of a sudden, you know, you go, you go, your coffee spills on you. You're like, oh, then you're driving to work. And then like, you, the, all of a sudden the road is closed and there's a detour. 
to do construction. You're like, okay, then you take the detour, and all of a sudden the detour leads you to a place where it does the loop around. You can't even get to work. Now you're late for work. Now your boss is unhappy. Now, you see where I'm going with this? So even though you did nothing wrong, but because there was an energy blockage, everything was resistance. Nothing was going with the flow. So these energy blockages are probably the most dangerous thing that I could possibly think of in life. It is not a good energy to be around. And the good news is, Clearing this energy is super easy, right? Energy is not like a metabolism that it takes weeks to see results. Energy is instant. It's like electrical currents, like lightning, right? You just gotta be like, what I would do right now, first, before I even start anything cancer, I would breathe in, and then I'd go, ha. Ah. And I would think of anything that was bothering me. If there was someone at work that was bothering me, I'd breathe in, and I'd go, Ah, now you clear the energy. Now this applies to anything and everything you could think of, right? Energy blockage from someone in the past, an ex, energy blockage of finances, of, of your bills, of anything. You gotta first ah, clear the energy. And at that point, and then I would tell myself, gotcha. So what do I need to do? I gotta make sure that I focus on the outcome, right? You wanna command the outcome, as Alicia and I always say. The outcome is what you're looking for and you have to command it. For example, you want to be rich, right? You wanna live a rich, prosperous life. Rather than say, I want to be rich, which is asking, hoping, wanting, needing scarcity. At that point, you would command the outcome, which is say, I am going to be rich. I'm gonna be the richest person on this planet. I am going to run this, right? Do you see the energy difference there? Do you see the energy difference there? I'll give you another example. Imagine your soulmate. Imagine rather than saying, ah, I really hope I find my soulmate, rather than say, I am going to attract the best soulmate in the world. My soulmate's gonna find me and we're gonna take it to the next level. Different energy, right? And that's how you gotta do it. So clearing the energy is super easy when you command the outcome. These are just one tips. There's so many things you could do. Like you have control. Understand you are in the driver's seat. Understand that this whole spiritual game of, of which is metaphysics really is something that you are in the control of and you can make it happen. Now five of pentacles, four of wands, queen of pentacles, ace of pentacles. Do you see here? I see here a woman coming into your life, helping you, guiding you, mentoring you, showing you the way, investing in you, some sort of leadership energy from her. And I see this happening very, very soon with that ace of pentacles. I also see here here that you and your special somebody are going to be taking off. And I also do see here that once you have the, the advantage of being able to uh, network with one person, it leads to another, it leads to another. And that's happened to me so many times in my life, right? Where I met someone randomly at like a grocery store or coffee shop. I just was putting myself in a good vibration. There was no energy blockage, right? So I felt, they felt that they could approach me. Because again, when there's an energy blockage, when you are not feeling well, you emit a vibration. If you want to get scientific with it, your body language, your facial expressions, your tone, you know, everything is telling people don't talk to me, right? But when you're feeling good, when you're in a good vibrational state, people are, are more, you know, open to the invitation of, you know, approaching you and speaking to you, right? So right now, the energy that I feel is someone is going to approach you, someone is going to speak to you, someone is gonna have something to offer you, someone is gonna be impressed and wooed by your energy and want to network with you. Now, I also do see this happening sooner than later, because four wands, you are going to be celebrating this very, very soon, and what does that mean? Right now, my whole thing is why wait? Why wait for this to happen? Why not make it happen right now? Your mind cannot tell the difference between real or fake if it feels real. I'm gonna repeat this because it's so important that we really use this tool in our toolbox. Your mind cannot tell the difference between real and fake if it feels real. So when you visualize, your mind thinks it's actually happening. If your mind thinks it's happening, spirit thinks it's happening, right? So right now, what I would do is I'd visualize this woman approaching me in a grocery store, coming up to me, tapping me on the shoulder and saying, hey, is that ranch good? I know that's new ranch out, whatever dressing you like, think, be creative, be imaginative, have fun, there's no right or wrong way. Is that good? I'd be like, yeah, it's really good, I tried it. And because I was feeling good, I was like, everything is, is really good, you should give it a try. And she's like, really? I'm like, yeah, you know, I start strike a conversation. At that point, she'd be like, you know what? I really like your energy, what do you do for a living? I'm like, you know what? I got a YouTube channel, I got Amazon business. She goes, great. She goes, by the way, I own this company. I'm looking to hire people. We just moved down the street. You should come check us out. And then I'd visualize saying, cool. I'd go home, Google your name, boom. All of a sudden, big corporation. I'm like, hey, I'd love to come down and visualize myself going there, her giving me a tour. She's like, you know what? I really like you. you. Remind me of someone. Here's your corner office. Here's your paycheck. Do you see where I'm going with this? This is it. My mind thinks this actually happened. So if I, if it's already happened, it means it's already happened. Like it's it, to your brain, that's what it means. As long as you feel it, that's when that 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 ones and zeros around you start manipulating, and then all of a sudden, now the universe is setting it up. 
This is how it works. This is the quantum physics behind it all. This is really how to use metaphysics to your advantage, right? So right now, expect the abundance to flow to you because you're putting yourself in a, in a space to command the outcome. All right, Cancer, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Thousand kisses. Until next time, ciao.